guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another holiday makeup collection review. I've said it before, holiday makeup collections, like I kid you not, I wait all year for the festive season, for holiday time, for the, like I'm, I'm pretty much just thinking about the holiday makeup. Yeah. <laughs> and the food. Mm -mm. Let's not go there. So in today's video, we, oh. Sounds heavy. In today's video, we are reviewing the brand new BH Cosmetics Holiday Collection. This is a five-piece collection. Um, everything in this is under $25, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's some really cute stuff. So basically going to go through what's included in this collection. I'm going to show you swatches of everything, the packaging. We're going to test them out. We're going to create a whole look using the palettes on my eyes and my face and whatever else. And then I'm going to let you know whether or not I think it is worth your time and your money uh, picking anything from this collection up. So yes, if you're interested in my thoughts and seeing a demo of the BH Cosmetics Holiday Collection, then please keep on watching. So yes, definitely five pieces in this collection. And the first thing that I'm most excited about is the Royal Affair palette. So this is a brand new 20 color eyeshadow palette it says adorn your eyes in regal opulence with the royal affair a uh, luxe range of rich neutrals precious gemstones and vibrant metal shades buttery matte and lustrous shimmer finishes super blendability okay they're making a lot of promises there mm -hmm. oh, queen of being unprepared my laptop just died and now i can't see the prices i'll be right back Okay, so the Royal Affair 20 color eyeshadow palette retails for 18 US dollars. This is the external packaging. It is cruelty free. It's really nice packaging actually. It feels very luxe. It feels quite heavy, which I love. And then these are the shades that are included in this. I did show you guys this palette on my Instagram stories and so many of you wanted to see a swatch demo review kind of thing on it. So yeah, obviously we're gonna include that in today's video, but it's very pretty. Oh, I just dug my nail into it. That, it happens every time. Like I don't even have like big long fake nails. Like my nails are real, they're short. I still do it. So we've got some beautiful rich shimmers in this palette and they're actually, they are quite regal colors like old golds and like silvers and sort of champagne kind of colors. They're really, really nice. And there's lots of different mattes in here. It's actually quite a different color story um, to a lot of palettes that I have seen. What does it remind me of? Maybe it reminds me a little of subculture. Maybe, but yes, $18 for this one. And I will of course be showing you swatches of all of the shades and then we'll be completing a look using the palette on my eyes. Oh, I should also say this collection is also called the Royal Affair Collection. Just so you know, where'd that little card go? I'm a mess today. I am a mess, I am a mess, I am a mess. All right, next up we have the Petite Highlighter Set. This is really cute. So this is like a little gift set. It's got a very shimmery, like little clutchy bag in there by the looks of it. And it also contains the Spotlight Petite Highlight Palette. Oh my goodness. So the Spotlight Highlighter Palette is one of my all-time favorite highlighter palettes. It's so pigmented and it's so affordable. So it looks like it's got like a little mini in there and a brush. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, I already know I would definitely buy this. So this one is $22.50 US dollars, so $22.50. Um, bear in mind also BH Cosmetics does quite often, you know, offer sales on their websites. I think sometimes it's like up to 40% off. So if I can get any word about any sales that are coming up, um, I'll be sure to let you guys know, but this looks cute. So this is the little bag that it comes in. It's super adorable and it's got this little poofy thing on the zip. How cute is that? Love. So in here, yeah, we've got the spotlight palette and a brush. Okay, cool. The brush looks really pretty. Oh, so pretty actually. So it's like pink on either end and then silver in the middle. It is a synthetic brush. Um, we know my thoughts for the most part um, on that. But yeah, I'm still gonna test it and see how it goes. And then this is the mini palette. Oh, we've got a plastic cover, hang on a minute. And here are the shades. I like, I'm not even kidding. Literally, I'm obsessed with this palette. It's so pigmented, it's so buttery, it's so amazing. And to be honest, as far as a mini goes, she ain't that mini. Like, she ain't that mini. I'm just gonna grab the full size. All right, so here is the full size palette and in comp whoa! I'm just dropping shit today, seriously. Here is the mini. Like, it's really not that mini. It's still plenty of product. So each of these six highlighters have a net weight of 0 0.46 ounces, 13 grams. And in this one, it's 33 grams. So it's kind of like about half, I guess. But like the formula in this, you'll freak. You'll freak. All right, next up we have Royal Affair, the five-piece liquid linen set. So this one is $24.50 US. 
Um, this is super cute. So this is another little clutch bag with five of their liquid linen lipsticks. Now I did a full swatch and review video on this particular formula of liquid lipsticks and I absolutely love, 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 love it. If you want to see that swatch video and you want to see the swatches of all of the shades on my lips, I'll link it down below. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful formula. Now I'm not, I think it's minis. I suppose we'll find out. So again, it comes in a super cute little glittery clutch with a little poof. And these are like transformative. Like, you know, when you move the, the sequins to face the opposite direction, it changes colors. It is like that. Oh, it matches the brushes, actually. That's really cool. Oh, they're full size. Amazing. So these are the shades that you get included. I also, you know, adore this collection because it's just got such beautiful, rich nudes. As we all know, I'm a little obsessed with nudes, but... These are the shades that you do get. Um, like I said, I will show you swatches. So this includes new shades to the collection. Oh my gosh, so it's got um, two shades, Jacqueline and Karen. I guess they were some of their best-selling shades from the original lineup. And then they've got three new shades, Vanilla, Simone, and Stephanie. All right. We'll be doing, we'll, we'll show you this. All right, next up we have the three-piece glitter set. Again, super sparkly little bag. I'm loving these, honestly. So this one comes with a little poof as well. Oh, I kind of want to take these off and put them on my keys. They're adorable. And then in here you've got three of the BH Cosmetics glitters. So these are their loose glitters and the shades that we have. Warm Espresso Lit. Me after one glass of wine and Gold Rush. These colors look super beautiful as well. Ooh. You know, when there's glitter around, I get a little out of control. Ooh. See, it's happening. Um, price wise, this little set is, oh, no, that is the liquid lipstick price. This little set is $19.50, again, US dollars. Um, I'm just going by the prices straight off the BH Cosmetics website. Do people have affiliate codes? For BH Cosmetics, maybe I can find someone who's got a code who can actually get you. Anyway, I'll look into it. But here we go. Oh, these are so nice. Oh, Lit is already probably going to be my favorite. It looks like it's actually on fire. So these are the three glitters. The gold, um, this is like a shimmery chocolate. It's got gold undertones. And then Lit is this one here. It's like a coppery pink. Really, really pretty colors. I dare say based on that, we're going to be putting glitter on. And then finally for the collection, the Royal Affair 10-piece metalized brush set. So this one is going to set you back 25 US dollars. Um, achieve an array of majestic full face looks with the Royal Affair. Chic silver and magenta metalized handle and plush two-tone synthetic bristles. Perfectly shaped to accent every contour and curve. Oh, she's so bougie. I wonder... I actually wonder if this little highlighter brush that comes in the set with the uh, mini spotlight palette, I wonder if this is included in the collection. Now these ones don't come in a case, these are just the brushes on their own. The synthetic bristles in this are much, much, much nicer than the synthetic bristles in the Morphe Holiday Collection. Um, they feel a lot more realistically like hair and like they'll blend better. Um, obviously don't know because I haven't used them, but I'm, this is an assumption based on how they feel. I did review the full multi holiday collection. Um, I will link that down below for you. And um, one of the brush sets um, that come as part of that collection, sheesh, not good. Okay, these are, oh my gosh, actually gorgeous. So again, the same as that highlighter brush. And by the way, that highlighter brush is not in this collection. This one looks similar, but for reference, um, the highlighter one that you get with the palette is much, 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 much bigger. Um, the bristles all feel really beautiful and soft, um, much better quality synthetic hair. Again, like I said, the handles are stunning. Like I'm obsessed with these. Like they're beautiful. All right, cool. So we will be using these brushes um, to create the look today to finish the makeup. Um, and I'll, I'll let you know whether or not it's worth your $25. So what we're going to do now is jump into swatches of all of the products. I'm going to show you, you know, close-up swatches of all of the shades in the eyeshadow palette. Also all of the shades in the highlighter palette. And then all of the shades of the liquid lipsticks that come as part of the collection. And then after that, we're going to try 
and create some magic hopefully with this collection and see how everything blends and works. All right, so first up, we're gonna go in with the swatches of the Royal Affair palette. So first up, we have a matte bone shade, then a warm neutral tan, this beautiful shimmery sort of taupe, gorgeous bright coral. Then we've got a deep burgundy matte color, love that one. Really, really pretty gold green sort of color, a dark chocolate, a gorgeous sort of old, it's like an old gold, this really, really different and unique green, and then this rich matte black. So those are the first two rows. Honestly, the shades in this palette are absolutely gorgeous. They're very, very different, but they're all so, so, so beautiful. Like, I'm obsessed. Then this one here, this is like a duo chrome shift pearl, a matte taupe, a bright silver. Love that one. And then a tan, an older sort of metallized silver, a peach apricot, a very interesting sort of corally kind of color, a rose gold, and then a tan, and then finally a deep shimmery plum. So like, you know, the two palettes together, I mean, it's not the two palettes together, those two rows together, stunning. Now for the highlighter palette. Um, like I said, this is a formula that I know very, very well. It is buttery, it is rich, it is pigmented, it is smooth. It does not emphasize texture. And I mean, look at those colors. You've got golds, you've got a beautiful bronze, you've got pinks, um, you've got champagnes, you've got a pearl, like it is, oh, per. Perfection. Next up, we've got the three glitters. So that beautiful sort of reddy, coppery, kind of rose gold color, the gold, and then the chocolate brown glitter, which is very, very, very unique. And then finally for the swatches, the liquid lipsticks. So you've got three sort of pinky nudes there on the front half. Then you've got kind of like a deep pink. It's kind of like a darker pink, but it's very unique. And then a very beautiful, rich red, perfect for the holiday. All right, so those were all of these swatches. I've zoomed you guys in, tied my hair up, primed my eyes. I've been busy. Oh, I've got to show you this. Look at this scrunchie. Can you see it? It's like maroon. And then it's got like little gold. I found it at Kmart and I'm just, I'm back into scrunchies. <laughs> Absolutely loved, loved, loved the way this palette swatched. Um... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I was actually, I've been really, really, really impressed with pretty much every palette BH Cosmetics has been bringing out recently. They've just really nailed their formulas, really nailed them. So we're going to move on to creating an eye look using the palette now. Um, some really interesting different shades and tones in here, which is really, really good to see. I really, really do love everything in here. And I'm wanting to use this chocolate brown glitter because it's just... It's a very different glitter shade that you don't often see. So yeah, I'm really keen to try this out. And like I said, we are going to be trying out the brushes that come um, with the collection as well. So starting off, I'm going to take Rain. The This is just like a flat white-ish bone. Like it's a matte, perfect for setting down the lid. Um, I've used MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot, the same eye primer that I always use. Oh, I don't like this brush. Mostly because the bristles are too long and when you go in to use it, you've just got no control of movement. I've talked about this before. Eyeshadow though, very pigmented, really nice bone shade. Um, it's kind of difficult to get bone shadows to really, really show up any pigmentation, but you can see here this has definitely lightened up the lid space. You could totally use this as a highlight on the brow bone and on the inner corner and it would work really well. This one here is a much better blending brush. See the difference? Like see how long the bristles are? This makes it really hard to use. Now, because we're gonna use that chocolate glitter, maybe we will, uh, we'll stick, we'll, we'll try these beautiful browns, some of these cool tone browns, maybe a bit of this burgundy. I mean, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take primrose. I thought this was a really interesting color. It's like an orangey pumpkin. Picking this up on that. Oh, look how much pigment you get. Let's see how she blends. Oh. Can't really see that color at all. Uh, okay, so because of the synthetic brush, I think I'm having to not tap off the excess of this shade. Um, it is nice, but it's not like, see, I'm picking it up and then going straight in because otherwise you kind of just can't sort of see it. I mean, it's probably more of like a skin tone thing, but I can't see it in a huge way. Color's not really showing up too much. So let's go into Emperor. It's like this mustardy brown kind of color here. Oh, 
work but sort of in the same area yeah so I get much more color from this one I do think that it's a skin tone thing because the formulas feel very much exactly the same um, I just think it doesn't really show up on my skin blending pretty well with this synthetic brush too good to see so tucking that into the crease so this is going to work as our train I need to pluck my eyebrows Damn. You guys are just going to have to excuse my hairy eyebrows. Okay. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yes. This shade is going to act as our transition color. Um, it is blending pretty well with this brush. I do feel like it's still not doing the shadow justice. Like, I don't... I think we can get better than that. So I'm going to take a natural hair brush now. All right. So I've picked up that shadow on a natural hair brush. Yeah, you get a lot more payoff with a natural hair brush. I'm going to try this small little blending brush now, and I'm going to go into Palace, this sort of grey, browny, it's like a taupe kind of colour. Taupe, taupe, depending on where you are. We all pronounce it differently in different countries, it seems. And I'm going to try and skim that one directly through my crease. This will add, like, another dimension of deepness and darkness in there. Really nice color it's doing pretty well with this brush but I do still want to go back in with a natural hair brush um, I just these brushes aren't doing these shadows justice at all it's doing pretty well with this brush but I do want to go back in with one of my normal brushes I just don't think these are doing them justice at all all right so I've got palace still and I'm just using a brush that I'm familiar with yeah, you just get a much better finish. All right, I'm going to take Duchess now, this deep, rich, chocolatey brown. So pretty. Oh, look at the pigment. Wow. And I'm going to start to build that one through the crease as well. I'm also thinking I might pack this one across the lid. But I just want to see how she blends. Oh, my gosh, it blends really well. Oh, BH Cosmetics, you're not kidding. I feel like this is the thing that I found with all of their recent palettes. Like they just, the actual quality and don't mind this whole outside area, we'll come back and fix that later um, with concealer, but they just blend really nicely. I'll fix that up because I feel like it looks a little scary on camera as a result. <laughs> like what I love in an eyeshadow is good color payoff and easy blendability. Like I could care less about fallout. I could care less about fallout in the palette. I could care less about fallout on my face. You know, I come back and fix all that later. What I want is a shadow that, you know, is true to its color in the pan, beautiful rich pigment, and it's easy to blend. And honestly, these are like, they're exactly that. They really are. I'm gonna brave it and take one of the synthetic brushes again, same shade, Duchess, and I'm gonna pack that all over the lid. Fail, no. All right, back with one of my normal brushes and we'll try that again. I think it is interesting to, you know, demonstrate, I guess, the difference between, like I've always said, like you can go with super, 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 super cheap makeup. Like it really, a $2 eyeshadow palette and if you've got good brushes, you will be able to make it work. Like it really is all in the brushes. So I'm just buffing out the edge of that now. The thing I like about this brown too is you can apply it and blend it and it doesn't completely disappear. You know how a lot of brown eyeshadows, like especially deep chocolates like this, you apply them and then after you blend, you're like, where'd the shadow go? Like it's completely gone. This one really holds true. Now we don't have any super, super light shimmers um, to highlight the brow bone. So I'm going to take that matte bone. I'm going to try that. Yeah, see, I quite like that as a brow bone highlight. It's nice. Obviously, we'll come back and blend it, but just really pulls the whole look together. All right, through the lower lash line, I'm going to take this one here. This is Majesty. Beautiful, beautiful brown. I'm going to rub that through the lower lash line. And then taking Duchess, the deeper brown. And I'm going to smoke that up even more. Then on a bigger pencil brush, I'm going to take Emperor, that sort of, it's like a mustard nearly kind of a colour. And I'm going to run that directly underneath those browns, just a tiny, tiny amount. And you'll notice, you'll see how that really transforms that lower lash line, like it really smokes it all out nicely. 
you always, always, always need a transition shade in your lower lash line. It's something that a lot of people do forget. Oh, we're looking smoky now. Now, this glitter is a lot darker than this brown shadow. So let's try out the black. So this one here, Enchanted, it swatches like crazy. Like it's super, super pigmented in a swatch. I'm gonna take a little of that on a flat brush. And I'm going to pat that over the brow and the lid. Oh, that's nice. See how that sort of takes it to another level of darkness? Oh, I've got it on my face. I really want to do a look with the green out of this palette too. This green here, Monarch. So unique. It's a really, really unique green color. Like it's so pretty. Then using Duchess, that deep chocolate brown, I'm going to haze out the edges of that black. The black kind of disappears a little when you blend it. It packs on really well, but it doesn't kind of goes away when you blend. I mean, a lot of black eyeshadows do this. It's very hard to sort of find one that doesn't, but at the same time, this is the first shade in the palette that I found that does do that. I mean, like we're there in the end, like we're okay, but just something for you to know. Like if you want to do like a full black smoky eye, it might be a little tricky using this black. You know what is funny? I've got to go out for brunch after I've finished this. This is not brunch makeup, no. Yeah, I'm not loving where using that black has landed us. Like it's, mm. it's like we're very smoky for sure, but it's also, I don't know, it hasn't been easy to work with. All right, we're gonna go in with the glitter now. I'm super excited about this part. So I've got the Too Faced Glitter Adhesive and this is the shade uh, Warm Espresso. So I'm gonna take a little of that glitter glue and apply it all over the lid. Hopefully the glitter helps with the mess that that black made. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's amazing. My goodness. That is literally the prettiest glitter. Look at that! Is that even real? Am I dreaming? Am I imagining this? Sometimes I do that. Oh my gosh, I cannot deal. Oh, and it looks so perfect with those deep smoky colors. Yes. Yeah, this glitter is seriously beautiful. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, the only downside is I do have it all over my face, so I'm gonna go and probably wipe off my foundation, reapply it, um, do liner, lashes, um, concealer and some other things and then we'll be back to test the highlighters and the liquid lipsticks. All right, so I've got the rest of my makeup on, lashes, foundation, concealer, everything. I pretty much had to wipe off all the foundation that I applied. I had glitter everywhere. Like, and even still, like, it's actually falling off the lid. This Too Faced glitter, oh, gross thing stuck to it. Um, this Too Faced glitter glue, mm, not my fave. I just, I've never really been able to get it to 100% adhere to the glitter. Um, yeah, so that is that, totally unrelated. We are gonna move into the highlighting palette now and I did wanna quickly just say, I did use these brushes to, you know, sort of do the rest of my face. Um, This worked amazingly as a powder brush. Definitely recommend this little guy. Oh, what number? This is number one. Um, the only thing is it obviously comes part of the set and I didn't have a great deal of luck with a lot of the eyeshadow brushes in this set, so obviously wouldn't be just, you know, paying for this. Um, I did use this brush to contour. Now, the only issue that I had with this is because it is, I mean, because of the way the bristles are made or whatever it is, it just doesn't pick up enough product. Um, you know, I was finding that I was really having to go in, like dip into the product, blend it out, dip into the product, blend it out to really build up, you know, like a darker shadow. And I did end up switching to one of my normal brushes. So I, I mean, the sets are really, really pretty. The brushes are really, you know, they, they're lovely to look at and some of them did perform well but for me personally I need a lot more than that to be able to spend the money and yes unfortunately I'm not going to be recommending these. Now obviously we're going to test out the highlighting brush that does come with the little palette in the set. I will be testing the shadows you know applying them with this but as you saw 
swatches of this are incredible. So buttery, so pigmented, so smooth, so amazing. Like I've been obsessed with this palette for ages and I actually love that they've made a smaller size. So good for traveling. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade here. This is Glow. This is like the goldy sort of shimmery champagne-y kind of color. I'm picking it up on that brush. Oh, she's so pigmented. Man, I've, I mean, I, I was using this palette flat out for a very, very long time there. Um, I need to get it back out. Like, you know how, you probably don't know, you're probably not a makeup hoarder like me. I'm, I've got problems, like actual problems. And sometimes things go into the drawer and then I kind of forget about them altogether. Oh, we are back together. She, like, this is no kidding. Like, it's nearly to the point where it's, like, too pigmented. You have to be so careful because it is blinding. Like, look at that. Look at that. So that's that shade. Another one of my faves from this palette is this one here, Dream. I mean, look at that. It's actually, like, oh, they're so smooth and velvety, too. They're just, oh, they're beautiful. So tanking Dream, I'm going to show you Dream on this side. This one's got a little bit more of, like, a warmer gold undertone to it, whereas Glow, that first one, that's sort of like an icy undertone. Look at that, though. goodness it's just so bright it's insane I hands down recommend this palette like 10 out of 10 and I'll tell you what this brush is going pretty well as well picking up vivid now vivid's like a pinky kind of a color oh so bright I'm gonna put a little of that okay see I've I've gone too far too much Nikia too much I do it every time they're just so pigmented. Maybe. Actually, you know what? To finish the eyes, um, and by the way, I'm loving the way that these turned out despite all the dramas that we had earlier with that black shadow. Um, I mean, lashes do fix pretty well everything. Like, pretty well everything. But the glitter, you know, it just adds a really nice sort of subtle kind of difference to the eyes. Um, I love, like, they, they look really, really nice now, but yeah, earlier on. I was a little concerned. The black shadow, I just, mm, it's tricky. It's not the best black eyeshadow. I'm going to take a little more of Dream and I'm going to tuck that right up under my brow bone. Oh, I kind of wanted to add one of the crazy bright shades from the palette to the inner corner of my eyes just to give it a little test. Like maybe this blue or even this one here. Like these colors are so nice and they're so different. Like that, like they're just stunning. I think we're gonna do the bluey one. This is called Throne. I'm gonna take that on a pencil brush. Hopefully this doesn't like tank everything. It may. It's got such a beautiful duochrome shift. I'm gonna put this right on the inner corner. Oh, I love that color. That is so nice. Wow, that really adds an element of difference to the eye. Just something a little unique color would be so amazing all over the lid. I'm for sure going to be creating more looks with this. I want to try the green. I want to try these beautiful shimmers here. I want to do this blue color all over the lid. Like I'm going to be playing with this. I promise you could even layer this color as a topper it would look insane. And now finally moving on to the liquid lipsticks, the last set. So as you saw from the swatches, these are the colors that you do get in this set. You've kind of got like two well kind of like a spectrum of nudes with sort of like a pinky undertone so really pale sort of medium pale and then getting sort of more like a deeper pinky kind of more maybe terracotta-ish sort of looking nude um a beautiful rich pink but it is a very wearable pink and then this super nice red like i said i swatched all of the other shades of their liquid linen lipsticks i'm in a different video like i said i'll link it down below love 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 the formula like they've just they're so soft and lightweight and airy they're beautiful so i'm gonna take this shade vanya vanya um this is one of the new colors it's like a pinky nude oh, look at that that's a really pretty color. It might not necessarily match the eyes that well, but we're going with it. Just love this formula. It's so lightweight. Like, you know how sometimes liquid lipsticks can sort of come off feeling like a little bit heavy on the lips? This formula does not at all. So there you go, guys. Swatches and demo of everything that's included in the BH Cosmetics Holiday Collection. Um, as far as recommendations go, I really, really liked the eyeshadow palette. Um, except for that black eyeshadow. That black eyeshadow was the only shade that I really 
you know, had any difficulty with. Um, it's just, it's a packing shade, not a blending shade. Um, it is what it is. Like definitely you'll be able to get it to work, but it's just, it's not the best black eyeshadow I've ever come across. Like it's just not good at all. But all the other colors in this, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this deep brown, like this deep chocolatey brown, blends out like an absolute dream. Um, I love the color story. You've got warms, you've got cools, you've got shimmers, you've got really interesting pops of color like this here, this here, and even this one here. Um, and the green, like I said earlier, they're just not colors that we typically see. And I love that they're different. I love that they add a little something extra. Absolutely love this blue duochrome shade on the inner corner of the eyes. Like it just, it really adds something a little bit different to the entire look. So this palette, 100% recommend. I think it's very, very nice. The Royal Affair eyeshadow palette, the packaging's nice, the price is nice. Like I just, I think if you love the colors in this, you'll really enjoy it. The highlighter palette is an absolute no brainer. Um, I already knew how much I loved this formula. I already knew how they wore, how they swatched, how they blended, how they applied. Um, it's just a miniature version, like I said, of the original Spotlight palette, which is one of my Holy Grail highlighting palettes. So the fact that you get this and you get this cool little bag and this brush here, like I actually really liked this highlighter brush. Like I do feel like it worked quite well. Let's put a little bit more here. Yeah not like this applied the highlighter really really well so i definitely recommend this set as well if you know you're after like a smaller size eyeshadow palette or you know you're after a really nice gift to give somebody definitely recommend this set this one's really nice the liquid lipstick set's pretty much a no-brainer as well again this is a formula that i've worked with before that i'm familiar with that i really really enjoyed when i used last time um, they're just, they've, they've done really well on the formulation of these. And I really love the colors in this. You've got a super light nude. You've got a pink. You've got more of like a terracotta deeper nude. You've got this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pink. That's actually like a little different to a lot of the pinks out there. Um, it's a really pretty color. This one is called Simone. And then this super, super sexy, like holiday festive kind of red here. Like, again, like it's for me it's a no-brainer um it's not a formula that i tested for the first time today and i did really really enjoy it all right next up the glitter set that comes in this little guy here i mean this is cute but realistically what are you going to fit in here i guess you could use it as like a coin purse love the pink sequins though like i'm dying like i just want to cover myself in pink sequins <gasps> maybe i'll cut them up and make an outfit Oof. better not better not but you saw from the swatches exactly what these looked like um i really enjoyed the formula of these i actually find the pigments or the little pieces of glitter in this much 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 finer and more comfortable sort of feeling on the eyes and more comfortable to apply than a lot of glitters that i have tried they're just like much smaller pieces you know how sometimes they can be they can kind of feel like sandpaper when you blink and stuff and they feel sort of heavy these are not like that at all really love this glitter here the warm espresso the one that i'm wearing on my eyes very different to a lot of glitters out there like in it and it just adds like this rich extra dimension to the eyes like definitely a smoky eye like this love 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 the gold it's straight out gold there's sort of really nothing too special about it other than the fact that they are in really nice small particles and then this pinky copper oh my gosh it just changes in the light there are so many different like it it reflects like rainbows beautiful 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 color so again totally recommend this little set i think that you'll adore it if you love loose glitters obviously you'll love them if you hate loose glitters obviously give it a miss it just depends on personal preference but as far as actual product quality and packaging really really nice and then finally the 10 piece brush set i don't feel like you guys are going to be too surprised about this at all i don't recommend this like they are they do feel like really nice fibers, but I just had a hard time getting these to blend. Um, you know, some of the brushes, like the shape was just completely wrong for me. I didn't really get too much color payoff when I was using a lot of them. I just, I mean, they're so, 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 so pretty, but I like more of like a professional sort of kind of a brush. Um, and these are sort of more like beginner sort of entry level. Um, definitely if you're new to makeup or you're looking to grab a gift for someone who is younger, then, you know, perhaps these are a good option. But if you're looking for more technical brushes, you know, for perfect smoky eyes and perfect winged eyeliner and, you know, perfect cut creases and perfect contouring, these are not going to be it. They're beautiful, yes, but they're just, they're not they're not good enough at blending. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Those are my thoughts on the BH Cosmetics 2018 Holiday Collection. Um, let me know your thoughts. Are you going to pick any of these up? Have you already picked them up? What do you think? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Um, let me know which, which of yours, like which set is your favorite down in the comments below. And also let me know, do you want to see more eye looks using this palette? Like I am so keen to get hooked into that green and literally apply it over my whole lid and kind of just roll in it. 
I really like this. But yes, I hope you enjoyed today's video. There will be lots more holiday collection reviews coming. Um, I'm just sort of slowly doing them as I'm getting my hands on them. I do have the Marc Jacobs holiday collection. Oh, it's beautiful. So you'll be seeing that review soon. I'm going to try and get like Too Faced and Tarte and all those kinds of collections as well. But I love you all so, so much. If you've got any questions, please pop them down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. I do upload three times a week here on this channel. And yes, I love you all so, so much. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.